Yo, what's going on, Warriors? We back again. Man, this is a crazy month, man. PAX, when it revealed new stuff about Devil May Cry, and we got those massive spoilers. We got, um, I got a new tattoo. We're getting Tokyo Game Show, which is currently on right now. We're not gonna waste time, man. One thing I wanted to um, talk about real, real quick is that Devil May Cry theme song that they released on the Devil May Cry YouTube channel. No. That's all I'm going to say about that. No. I don't want to say anything bad that's going to hurt the game. So I'm going to leave it at that. Absolutely no. Keep that shit away from Devil May Cry. Keep that shit away from Dante. That's it. I'm done. Alright, so we're going to watch this um, Devil May Cry 5 TGS trailer. I haven't seen it anything about this i literally woke up like about less than an hour ago and i knew i was going to wake up to a devil may cry 5 trailer i don't know what's it what it's saying i hope dante is going to be the main feature of it that's all i'm going to say about that let's get it here we go sound the devil may cry office Dante. Devil may cry. I got a gig. Cash ah. up front. Ooh! Ooh! Cash up front. This I like. The water needs turning on and those toilets need flushing. Wow! Lady! First come, Trip. first serve on the target. So Yo! Yo! What's happening? Whoa, you are the infamous Yo, Dante. Yo, Nico. My grandmother is is Nell Goldstein. Wow! Don't that made all your fancy weapons. Ooh! What is that? <sighs> yeah, Dante looks sick. Guess I get to see what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, you do, baby. Wow! Lady Dante. and Trish! I'm gonna go too. Which one wants it to play? Wow! It looks like the graphics are amazing! Yeah. I've got all the power I need. Right here! Hey, tough guy. That'll keep him, but not for long. Soldier Boy said city's gone to hell and back, taken over by the underworld. Not just here, but everywhere. Oh, the fight! Wow! Woo! Yo, stop. Wow! Woo! -hoo. Woo! Who's this? Yeah, the camera angles are fucking sick. The devil trigger. Ooh. Hey, this is my gig. Leave Nero out of this. Jackpot. Damn. Wow, that was just amazing. Oh. Meet your new client. He who desires but act not breeds pestilence. So it is written. Oh, V. Yes, his name definitely is V. Wow! Hey, I got a new arm for ya! Nah, <laughs> <laughs> the Mega Man. One of my What's finest. Deluxe edition. Alright. Wow! Wow, that was some incredible shit, man! Wow, wow, my brain needs to process that shit. The Devil May Cry Office? And Morrison's in there, Dante. Devil May Cry. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. 
This is Jonathan from the future. Sorry, Jonathan of the past. Had to interrupt you there, man. I just want to tell you some new information before we go anywhere. Yeah? So, Devil May Cry 5, yeah? Let's talk about some stuff about his weapons and everything like that, yeah? So, you know he has, like, those gauntlets? Those gauntlets are called Balrog. Basically, they are made um basically from the sealed power of the king of fire hell i like it so there's different types of hell yeah which would make sense because the same thing is like that in the and the um what is it the underworld in the underworld you have various demon lords or overlords yeah so to say that mundus was like the absolute top 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 king basically Nah, nah, I like that. So basically, he was like one of the most powerfulest, dominant ones, basically. So I like that. So there's different kings in hell, you know. So basically, that gauntlet is called Balrog, yeah. And it's got two stances. It's basically got um punch stance, where basically, if you look at it, you see he does like a lot of... um sways and Dempsey rolls and evasions, basically. And then, um, yeah, so he's got like a lot of that kind of stuff, right? And then he's got like a kick mode. And if you look at it, it looks like he's doing kind of like capoeira. Yeah, he does, does, does like these kind of like mad capoeira evasions into like these kind of like mad kicks. And they do actually look like capoeira kicks, actually. If I look at it and if I think about it now, there is a lot of capoeira. I fucking like it. So he's got kick stance with Balrog. Um, where he does cap wear up kicks and he's got like another one with like um, punch fist mode basically where he's just like boxer basically like he goes into like, a lot of evasion and Dempsey rolls and um, check hooks and straights and um, what is it called again um, corkscrew blow and kind of like punches and stuff like that yeah so that is that one that's the Balrog and then he has another one called the Cavalier and that one is the, the bike um, weapon, basically. And that's like a heavy weapon, basically born of materials infused with demonic power. Meat grinder weapon, in it, Because you can see he like splits it into two. And then you can get on it in an instant. It's fucking amazing. Yes, that weapon's called the Cavalier. And then he's also got the Devil Sword Sparda. And you actually see Lady wielding it in the um, trailer. That sword. I'm not too sure what it was, but no, it's definitely the um, Munda sword. Uh, of course, he's got the Coyote A, which is the shotgun, and then he's got the Ebony Ivory, yeah, which is the handguns, and then he's of course got the Rebellions. And one thing I did notice about this Devil May Cry, yeah, this trailer, upon looking at it, you see a version of Dante with kind of like short hair and little stubble. Right, and he looks kind of young actually. And then, if you take a look again, like there's a little bit in the trailer where you see Dante with longer hair, and his jacket looks a little bit different. So, he's got one Dante where the collar is popped like that and it comes out like that, and then there's another one where his hair is longer and he's got more stubble, and then the cloak, the jacket is more around his neck a little bit, so it's a little bit changed, slightly little bit. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know whether that's my imagination, or I'm just making myself see that. But it definitely looks like there's a version of Dante that looks younger, more clean cut, with shorter hair, and a Dante that has got more, more of a beard, longer hair, and it looks a little bit older, right? So I don't know what that is, man. It looks bloody cool. So maybe, maybe, because you got to realise, Dante has been grinding yeah he is the strongest demon slayer in the world yeah um he basically he has been the barrier this is what the, the moniker that they call him he is the barrier that has been protecting the human world from any invasion or infestation from the demon world that is one entity one being that is just stopping all and every demon from infiltrating and invading earth one person 
So maybe what we're seeing with like Trish, Lady and Dante is the very beginning. That's maybe the very beginning of the game. And then when Dante fights against the the guy, the, the night guy or whatever he is at the, demon, the base of the demon tree, maybe that is Dante fighting him from that point of the game and he must be fighting that guy for a long time and he might get stuck in hell and then it goes over to Nero I don't know I don't know or maybe Dante's just been I don't know I can't I don't know what it is but there is something going on there with Dante because you see one version of him where he looks young and fresh short hair clean cut nice Dante yay Tay and there's another one where he's still Dante yay yay Tay but he just looks older, more rougher, with longer hair. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. Um, yeah, bloody hell. You got Lady in there, Trish, Nico. Say more of her story. You actually say, I'm Nell Goldstein's granddaughter. She's the one that designed your weapons. I mean, Dante was the one that assembled the gun. But um, Nell Ghost is the one that designed it, the concept and everything that works for it, you know. And, you know, yeah. But they showed us V and all that kind of stuff. I mean, of all the things they said, they still haven't put out that Nero is Virgil's son, right? But whatever, you know what I mean? We'll see, we'll see. Alright, so when I'm looking at it, I automatically can tell that they're using the... Devil May Cry 4 uh, Dante's um, animations with some new ones as well Lady Trish Dante that's it that's it that's it that's the cell that's the free man cell and apparently they know uh, Nico as well interesting Dante Ugh! and the camera angles fucking sick that's what I want to see that type of camera angle Yeah, the Devil Hunter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love it. The graphics look fucking amazing. What is this? Like, I just don't understand. How are the graphics this good? Dante is fucking militant, and that's this fucking boss. I love that. I love that. Like human sized bosses, in it That are like fucking knights That are fucking high level That are like your level Where they're agile, fast, powerful Not some giant fucking target Graphics are amazing And you've got Trickster as well And it's cut and you can see that the um, sword animations Like the animations are, what's it called again? From Devil May Cry 4 Dante sword style in it. Fucking lady looks fucking beautiful, man. A proper change up lady and Trish, man. I like it. That's some amazing shit. Literally don't know what to say. Great trailer. Great trailer. Uh, not too much really to break down from it. Um, ob other than obvious that we could clearly see. They just verified a couple things in there. You know, with V being V. He's not the son of Dante or anything like that. He is the client. He is basically the Arkham. Uh, from um, that, he's uh, basically Devil May Cry for his Arkham to Dante. He is Trish's um, Dante's Trish to Devil May Cry One. You know, they're the person that comes there with the mission. Wouldn't be surprised if he turns out to be a, a bad guy or. Working for the bad guy or something like that, or some alternative motive. They always do in the end. Trish did, Arkham did, you know, that kind of shit happens. Um, yeah. I'm happy Dante featured way more than Nero. That's what I want. I want to see more Dante, eh? And I got that. Wow. And you saw Lady and Trish. They gave me way more than I expected. Way more than I expected, man. And you got to see what they look like properly. I'm happy with that. I am 
very, very happy. I want to see story. I'm very excited to see story. And the fact that you saw Dante in combat with Lady and Trish, they're in combat as well. I really want them to be playable as well. I would really love them to be playable. I saw Dante's Devil Trigger as well. Okay. Okay. We got some good shit. We got some good shit today. Okay. Warriors, I want to hear what you guys think about this Devil May Cry um, 5 trailer. The, it's pretty much Dante. Yeah, which is what I wanted. I needed this. Uh, so, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. If anything else interesting comes up in Tokyo Game Show, obviously, I'll do a video for it and a reaction and talk about it. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Art Warriors, take care, stay blessed, and catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.